A few weeks ago, the group that successfully defeated Madison Cawthorn stated that their next target would be Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Now, they noted that they didn't necessarily expect to find anything as salacious as the Cawthorn videos, maybe excluding this information about her husband, who was arrested in 2004 after exposing himself to minors at a bowling alley. But overall, really what they intended to dig up was evidence of corruption. And they've already uncovered something that is so serious that the Attorney General of Colorado is investigating her. As Alex Griffin of Mediaite reports, Representative Lauren Boebert is facing a probe from Colorado's Attorney General's office after a complaint was filed against her over alleged fraud related to her 2020 congressional run. The New York Times reported on Wednesday that the group that successfully targeted controversial Representative Madison Cawthorn filed a complaint against Boebert alleging she inflated the mileage she logged on the campaign trail in 2020 and then used more than $20,000 in reimbursements from donors to pay off years of tax liens on her restaurant. The Deputy Colorado Attorney General for Criminal Justice, Janet Drake, has since confirmed to David B. Wheeler of the American Muckrackers PAC that both her office and Colorado's Department of Revenue and Department of Labor and Employment will investigate the issue. The Times notes that Wheeler's allegations against Boebert are not new. The allegations have bounced around liberal circles since the Denver Post first reported in February 2021 that Ms. Boebert had cashed two checks from her campaign totaling $22,259 for mileage reimbursement, a figure that equated to 38,712 miles, well more than the 24,901 mile circumference of the planet. Hmm, seems a little bit sus if you ask me. Now, for comparison's sake, her predecessor, Scott Tipton, who she defeated in a GOP primary, uh, he requested less than $10,000 in mileage reimbursement. So what she's asking for is truly absurd and it is very very likely that she's lying uh, because she has a history of lying let me remind you that this individual has already violated congressional ethics and campaign finance laws by failing to disclose the fact that her husband raked in more than one million dollars as a consultant for the fossil fuel industry all while she was introducing legislation that would increase their profits such as a proposal to reverse the ban on federal lands that Biden had implemented via executive order. So we're not just talking about a mere conflict of interest, which is bad in and of itself. We're talking about a potential quid pro quo here that needs to be investigated, but nothing came of that. But thankfully, in this instance, it seems like Colorado's attorney general will take action. Now, I also have to point out that she temporarily lost her restaurant license for violating COVID restriction laws, which was actually a net benefit for people in Colorado, considering that she literally poisoned people at a rodeo she catered leaving some with bloody diarrhea which is just insane i mean nobody should want to eat at her restaurant but i mean if you're asking me is this a possibility did she exaggerate i'd say yeah it's very likely and it is suspicious enough to warrant an investigation because odds are she did not drive that far. Now, that in and of itself is a different story. But the real question here is, did she use that money that she got from exaggerating to pay tax liens against her restaurant? The article continues, the investigation takes on an additional level of potential criminality as Bobert is accused of using the reimbursed funds to pay off tax liens filed against her restaurant. The Times notes that the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment filed liens totaling $20,000 against Bobert from August of 2016 to February of 2020 for failure to pay unemployment premiums on her business Shooter's Grill. As you are both fully aware, utilizing an illegal source of funds or ill-gotten funds to pay off a tax lien is illegal in Colorado. Colorado and under federal law. That is the very definition of ill-gotten funds, reads the muckrackers complaint to Colorado's attorney general. Yeah, I'd say. So we'll have to wait and see. But the fact that this organization was able to take a story that was already out there and turn it into an investigation shows you how savvy they are. So if I were Lauren Boebert, I would uh, be really afraid right now because not only is what she did suspicious, but if there's actually evidence that she used that money by exaggerating her mileage to pay down tax liens. I mean, I don't know what the repercussions would be, but if it was a normal person, we all know that they'd be in jail, but because this is an elite, who knows what's going to happen? You know, she's using allegedly taxpayer dollars to benefit herself personally.
She already showed that she didn't disclose the fact that her husband was a fossil fuel consultant while she was representing these fossil fuel industries legislatively. So, you know, she's un an unethical person. She's demonstrated that time and again, but whether or not there'll be legal penalties for this, we'll have to wait and see. But I've got to say this group is good. And, you know, if they're able to successfully bring down Bobert next after killing off Cawthorn's campaign and his congressional career... This will cement their status as legends in D.C. Uh, and for all the right reasons, you know, um, which is usually not the case. Usually these organizations are shadowy and it's still, you know, somewhat slimy because it's a pack and we don't necessarily know who funds them. But overall, if they're targeting shitty people, I've got no problem with that. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Cause Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today folks, you won't regret it.